Hey everyone, we are on site at an April Air Manufacturing facility in Madison, Wisconsin, where people all around us are building products that deliver you healthy air every single day. Today, we are going to do an unboxing and installation of our evaporative humidifier line to show you just how simple it is to give people humidity inside the home. Without further ado, let's get started. First thing that we're gonna do is take the humidifier and all the components out of the box. Simple box cutter, get right through that tape on both sides. Let's open it up and get out the goodies. Starts with this. This is probably the most important thing in this box outside of the humidifier itself. This is both the installation guide as well as your template for installing the humidifier on the ductwork. So on the front, you've got your template. On the back, you have your instructions. Next, we have the owner's manual. Everything that you need to know to run the humidifier sits right in here. We have our Model 60 automatic digital humidistat. We have our accessory bag. Comes with screws and outdoor temperature sensor. 24 volt transformer for connecting the humidifier to the HVAC equipment using the control. And then finally we have our Model 600 evaporative humidifier. Then underneath the humidifier, you're gonna have this sticker for the homeowner, which is going to tell them when to change out the water panel and to only use a genuine April Air water panel with their humidifier. Now we're gonna show you how the components that you've taken out of the box relate back to your evaporative humidifier. First and foremost, what we've got here is our name badge. This can be rotated when you install so that the name April Air is always facing up no matter which direction you have to install the evaporative humidifier. Over here, you've got a lever here. Notice you've got summer, winter, summer. When it's in the summer position, that means that the damper is closed and the humidifier is not humidifying. When you rotate it to winter, the damper opens up and we're ready to humidify the home. We have our lead wires for opening up our solenoid valve. This will connect to the 24 volt transformer as well as the automatic humidifier control. And then right here is where we're gonna install our quarter inch water line. Okay, next we're gonna open this up so that you can see the inside of the humidifier itself. To do that, you simply depress this tab right here. This pops open the cover, allows you to remove the cover. Just gonna set that aside. Now you can see the Model 35 water panel, as well as the water feed tube, which is gonna take the water from the solenoid valve and trickle it down the water panel, allowing this to provide humidity to the home. Now that we have everything ready to install our humidifier, it's time to put the humidifier on the ductwork. Showing what we would call the supply plenum right here, we've got one mocked up for everybody to see. Now, if you've done your job, you've read through these instructions, which is also doubled as your template, okay, both sides, shows you how to install this humidifier. So the first thing that we wanna make sure that we, everybody understands is you're putting the humidifier on the plenum where the coil is not blanked off and slightly above the top of it. This ensures that you're gonna get proper airflow through the water panel and you're going to get the right amount of humidity out of your humidifier. So we're gonna take our template now and we're going to line this up on the plenum where we're gonna to wanna to cut the hole for the humidifier. Most important part of this step, crucial, you've got to have the template level. Okay, so you got your template up there, you're leveled up. Now, we've got actually something really cool here to show you. You've been using these paper templates forever. They're effective, you use them once, you throw them away. Uh, could get lost, could get torn, you never know what can happen with these. So we got something really neat for you. No longer do you gotta use a paper template. You can go to our partner's website, aprilairpartners.com, and get a magnetic template that's reusable for all of our evaporative humidifiers. Okay, our great new magnetic template is in place. It is level. It's time to take our Sharpie and draw around the template so we know where we need to cut. So you guys use various different ways in order to get started on cutting up your ductwork here. We created a starter hole. Now we're gonna take our snips and we're gonna cut along our lines and create space for our humidifier to go in. Now that you've got everything cut out and your humidifier base is installed on your ductwork, the most important thing to do is to recheck your level. 
The majority of phone calls that we get back at April Air where there's a problem with our humidifier are as a result of the humidifier not being level. So always recheck. Now that our humidifier is set and we've double checked the level, it's time to secure it to the ductwork. So how do we do this? Six sheet metal screws. There are six holes in the frame. Simply drive through those and you're set. So we're now secured to the ductwork. It's time to reinsert our water panel assembly. So a couple of things to take note of here. Number one, drain side down. And then number two, we're inserting the water panel the right way. We can tell because we've got the cutout for the feed tube here and the backstop so that the feed tube is in for the correct amount of distance. Bottom part goes into the drain. Water panel snaps into place. All right, your panel's locked in place, your feed tube is properly set. Nothing left to do here but put the cover back on. All right, so now we're gonna run the copper water line, guys. Really simple to do. Just pointing out step seven on the insulation instructions here. Shows you the double wrench method in order to tighten your copper water line. Please follow this instruction to ensure that we don't get any leaks. Now you're gonna have to run these two lead wires According to the installation instructions, these will run back through the control, the 24 volt transformer, and circulate back through the system in order to ensure proper operation time. And then finally, it's always best practice to seal up around the evaporative humidifier where you attached it to the ductwork. Dealer's choice when it comes to this one. We've seen some people uh, run a bead of caulk through it. We've seen other people use duct tape in order to seal this off. Whatever you choose to do, just please choose to do something. Our humidifier is in place. Now this was super easy because ours went in the way it just came out of the box. What if your return, instead of being on the right side of the humidifier, was on the left? Then everything would seem to be upside down. We've made it super easy for you to be able to change the humidifier around and make sure everything is going the right way and in the right direction. It starts with this cover. I'm gonna take this back off. You'll notice our batch here is facing the direction that the humidifier was installed. If I had to change the direction that the humidifier was facing, we just grab this pin, push it, and our plate pops out. Now, we can reinstall our name plate, like such, so that when we turn the humidifier, we're pointed in the right direction. Now, if you put the humidifier in, it's gonna look like everything's upside down, okay? Everything on the humidifier can be changed around so that you can make sure that you're draining out of the bottom because draining out of the top isn't going to work. Let's show you how. So, first thing we do is we gotta remove the drain spud. To remove the drain spud, just rotate it. If you rotate it, it will pop right out of the top. Next, we have a blanking cap inside the humidifier. Simply rotate that and it will pull out of the bottom. Now, we flip. So as we look at our drain spud, there are little notches that line up with the drain opening at the bottom of the humidifier. Simply take your drain spud, line up those notches, and it will sit through the bottom of the housing. Now we can rotate it counterclockwise and it locks into place. Now if we look at our blanking cap, you're gonna notice that we've got the same notches on this blanking cap. The difference here is, instead of installing this from the inside of the housing, this one comes from the top. So we line up our notches with the opening. It'll pop right in, sit flush. Rotate this one clockwise. There's a little pin underneath that can help you turn it. And now you've changed the drain. So you'll notice here on the damper that we have three labels, summer, winter, and we have summer again. This summer happens to be upside down. This ensures that no matter which direction you have your humidifier pointing, you can always see summer. Now when it's in the summer mode, our damper is closed. This keeps the humidifier from actually operating. If we rotate it to winter, notice our damper opens up. This is how we get humidity out of the humidifier to mix with the air in your system. Once the humidification season's over, you rotate back to summer, damper's closed, humidifier stops operating. Our humidifier is now successfully installed on the ductwork. It's time to hook it up to a control. Okay, so here we're simulating the return plenum, right? This is a point of reference. This is where your bypass pipe would come from your evaporative humidifier. Now, it's time to put the control on. To do this, first and most important step, 
we need to be six inches minimum above the top of the bypass. So we took a tape measure, we measured up six inches, we drew a flat line so we know right where we want our control to install. In order to do this, we're going to need to cut into the ductwork on the return side so that we can make a space for our sensor here. This requires a three quarter inch hole to be cut into the ductwork so the sensor can be placed into the stream of air. This foam gasket will seal it so that we don't have any interference from outside air. Okay, so we've drilled our three quarter inch hole in the ductwork for our sensor. Now it's time to put the control in place. Here's how we do it. First thing we need to do, remove the style. Slides right off. Then we can pop the cover off of the control. This exposes where we have our screw holes for mounting to the ductwork and also allows you to align your sensor. Okay, so we've dropped our sensor in place with the hole that we've cut out. I've secured our control with one sheet metal screw on the left. On the right hand side, we have a larger opening. This allows you to rotate the control up and down as needed to ensure that you get your control level on the ductwork. Now, before we put our cover back on our control, we have several steps that we have to do. One of the first ones we should take care of is the setting for our water panel change, which is right here. Now, if you look real close, it'll show it on the instructions. This is actually a little arrow that is cut out into this white portion here. This is currently set to off. What we're gonna to wanna to do for a 500, 600, or a 700 is make one of three choices. We can either leave it at off, which will never tell a homeowner when to change the water panel. We can take our little screwdriver and we can rotate that arrow to B, which is what you would use if there was hard water, and that will tell it to change the water panel every 300 hours of operation. Your other option is continue rotating down to C. C is for normal humidifier operation. This will tell it to change the water panel every 600 hours. So we're gonna leave it at C. Next, we have to decide, are we gonna let this control run in auto or manual? We at April Air recommend that you always run our automatic digital humidifier control in auto mode. However, should you want to use manual, you simply flip this switch to the right, and when your control power is on, you will see a little M at the top right corner of the control indicating that we are in manual mode. Finally, we're gonna to have to wire our control up. So this is your wiring terminal strip right here, and we're gonna walk you through right now where you would connect all of our wires in order to ensure proper humidifier operation. Your first one is your R and C. This is gonna give you the 24 volts from the HVAC equipment. If you reverse the R and C terminals on the humidifier control, you're not gonna get proper operation. So ensure that you've got that taken care of the right way. The ODT is the outdoor temperature sensor terminals. This is where you would hook up our outdoor temperature sensor. Please refer to the installation guide for proper outdoor temperature sensor placement. W is for your heat from your HVAC equipment. G is the fan from the thermostat. Your H terminals are your solenoid control output. And your GF is the fan signal to the HVAC equipment for using blower activation. All right, so now it's time to put our humidifier control face back on, okay? Really simple to do. All you gotta do is take this, line it up, it's gonna snap in place, you'll hear it click, and you're on. Now, we're gonna to wanna to take our dial and reassert our dial. So there's a flat end on this. We just line it up with the flat end here, and everything is in place. From this point, it's a couple more decisions we have to make. First one being, do we wanna run with blower activation on or off? At April Air, you're always going to have us tell you to run it on. It's the only way to guarantee that you are going to get the proper gallons per day from your humidifier. So we say, always leave that on. If you would like to turn it off, it is a little toggle switch underneath. You flip it to the left, it's off. Flip it to the right, and it's on. Now, best practice, let's run a test reset mode. To do this, we take our dial. We've got our little arrow here. We're gonna rotate this all the way to test reset, and you're in test reset when you hear it click. You're gonna run your test reset, and it's gonna ensure that everything's hooked up and running the way that it should. When you're done, you need to rotate this out of test reset. We get calls all the time where this is missed and these are left in test reset. Don't be the person who calls us up, because we're gonna laugh at you when you don't turn this back to where it's supposed to be. Take this out of test reset and put it to the number of humidity you've determined with the homeowner is correct for their home. 
then you're done. Our goal today was to ensure that you had everything that you needed to complete a successful installation on site. Should you find that we missed something or there's more information that you would like, please feel free to contact us at any time. Our phone number is 1-800-334-6011 where professionals are waiting to help you out or if you prefer, visit us online at the contractor exclusive website www.aprilairpartners.com. With that, thank you very much. Have a great day.